Hi, I'm Ted and I'm here with Little Red. I want to show you how to do a tread depth measurement because it's important to know how deep your tread is and how much you have remaining on your tires. It's a relatively simple process. You need a tread depth gauge, not a penny. I'll explain that later. It's easy enough to do. All you want to do is push this on a flat surface until you get a zeroed out reading. Once you have a zeroed out reading, you're going to locate your tread, your wear bars. Wear bars, I put some paint on so you can see them all the way across. Once you find a wear bar, put your tread depth gauge over the top of it. It's zeroed out. This part's not easy because I've got shadows, but I look through there until I see where I'm lined up on the, on the wear bar, push it down until it bumps into the wear bar, pull it away carefully so you don't knock it around a little bit, and take your readings. I'm showing a little bit between five and six millimeters. Use millimeters, makes you smarter. Six millimeters, five and a half millimeters, I would write that down as five. To zero out a gauge, all you do is put it on a flat surface, push down on it, check it, make sure it reads zero. Yeah, these things can get knocked around and out of, out of whack also. Just go get a new one. Once it's zeroed out, then you take your measurement. You certainly want to test at each wear bar. So you put it across that one, put it on there, and you're looking for a consistent reading. Five and a half or six. Zero it out again. Check them all. Why? If your tires are wearing both on the outside edges more than on the inside, that's an indication you're running your tires too low on pressure. If your tires are wearing more on the in, on the center, that's an indication you're running your tires a little bit overinflated. If your tires are wearing on one edge more than the other edge, that's an indication of an alignment problem. Need to take that car in for service. When you take your car in for a tire rotation, they'll measure your tread depth for you. If they give it to you in percentage, ask them how they got that number. It should be measured in millimeters. If they really did calculate a percentage, assuming your tires measured at five, they were new at six, that would come out to 83%. But I don't think they ever do that. They just eyeball it and call it good. Ask for a millimeter measurement. The reason I don't recommend you use a penny is there isn't a number on this penny that you can use. I recommend you get an actual reading with a tread depth gauge. Also, his head's not even flat. Well, it's a really imprecise way of doing it, and a tread depth gauge is inexpensive and you can buy them at a parts supplier. Ted and Little Red, thank you for watching. Please let me know if this was helpful.